This is Replicant Fish. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. Hope you're having a nice day. But well, today I have this topic. Why more men will lie to women in 2020. But it's not just a lie, per se. It's also a sense of what you do and do not tell someone. Because in a sense, not telling someone you're close to something deep and personal about yourself, some would say that's being dishonest that you do not trust the person you're with enough to tell them everything. Indeed, you see the thing is, sometimes the people we tell the most things are those that we may be in a relationship with, those we may have that deep bond with. And some would say it's a beautiful thing for two human beings to share their experiences and talk about their deepest, darkest feelings, to share them in this bond of a relationship. How nice. But, Never tell a woman everything. Never tell a woman everything. Understand this for a second. The more you tell a woman is the more ammunition you're giving a woman to then use on you, use back on you. Now some would say, there's no guarantee. Come on, there's no guarantee. <laughs> a woman would ever use what you have told her in confidence against you because that doesn't happen, does it? Doesn't happen. Yes, it does. It does happen. So my point is, tell a woman all she needs to know. Nothing more. Just what she needs to know. You know, for many men, for as powerful as they are or want to claim to be, it's the fact that many men sell themselves out during pillow talk, after sex. Once the nut has been expelled, many men fall into this zone of comfort. Too much comfort. Then many men end up telling a bit too much more than they should, more than they need to. You see, it's in those moments, in those pillow talk moments where many men let their guard down. They give away too much. They divulge too much information, not only about themselves, but their business and their monies, their finances, their feelings, their thoughts. And for many men, they believe it's just conversation because in a sense, it is just conversation. You are talking to someone you've just slept with. Conversation. It's normal. But, but it's how that information could be then used against you where the problem lies. As I've said before, certain women, you never fully know them until you have broken up with them. Some men assume dating a woman lets you know the woman. No, it's not about the dating of the woman, the relationship. For as bumpy or smooth as that may be, it's in the breakup. Because it's in the breakup for some in the divorce, in the ending of the relationship, where many men see how far a woman would go. In a sense, they see what she's capable of. They then see how much, for all they had told her, confided in her, trusted her with certain information and knowledge, how she would then use that back on the man to destroy him, to hurt him in a sense. Understand this. You can say it's mostly in the sense of when you leave a woman. When a man leaves a woman. When you leave a woman, understand you're rejecting the woman. Women don't like rejection. So understand, women will try to hurt you in as many ways as possible. So this is why some go crazy and will destroy your property, burn your clothes, destroy anything you actually like and enjoy, any of your gadgets or anything you like and enjoy in your life. Your property, anything that you may enjoy. As well as that, they may tell many of your secrets. And with social media, things like Facebook, it then becomes very easy. Simply because in you leaving her, trying to leave her, wanting to leave her, rejecting her, she then becomes so bothered by it, if not fully hurt, that she wants to destroy you or hurt you in any way possible. Go full scorched earth on you. In a sense, many women would want you not to be able to get another woman after her. <laughs> How dare you as a man try to be happy after her? And men that have gone through this know this firsthand and realize, my God, I never should have told this woman anything. And if so, I should have told her little, little to nothing. Because in assuming I could trust her meant I had given her this much power over me. Never again. So some would say it's being dishonest. Some would say it's lying. But I would say once again, 
it's for protection. Some only have the ability to use on you what they know about you. The little they know, the better. You know, we don't live in a world where people use knowledge and information only to help others. No, no, there are many malicious people in this world who would use the things they know about you to destroy you simply because of how they feel. So forget the nonsense that women want to hear your deepest, darkest secrets. Sometimes it's not a sense of getting to know you, it's more a sense of having the ability to use you. Like a vault, impenetrable, iron clad, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.